All right, so this video is to show you how I change out the postings in my Doberman Pinscher puppy's ears. So I change out the postings every five days just to make sure that it doesn't get infected in her ears. And right now, and as you can see, I'm taking off the previous tape that I had on from the past five days. Ziva does pretty good with staying still while I'm taking off the tape. She doesn't whine or cry or anything. Sometimes she'll move around a little bit, but after a little bit, she'll settle down and allow me to get the tape off. Also, you can hear her in her back right now playing with her toys as I'm doing this voiceover. Taking off the tape actually took me much longer than this video is showing. I cut out a lot of parts just because I take it off really, really slowly just to make sure I'm not hurting her and I just want to just not rush and, um, you know, rip the tape off any faster than I already am. So I just try to be cautious and just take my time taking off the tape. So I got one ear done and I got to get the other off and I got to give her love and some kisses in between just to let her know how good she's doing. But also when I use the scissors, um, I use them very, very slowly and like I'm super cautious because I'm so nervous to accidentally cut her. So I try not to use the scissors as much and rather just tear it apart with my fingers. But here and there, I'll have to use the scissors to cut the tape to make it go a little faster. Um, but when I am using the scissors, I'm just really cautious not to be near her ear or um, and then also cut the scissors away from her ears. Also, if you are not very familiar with the breed, I'll give you a little bit of background on why her ears are posted. So in previous years, I think the answer to this would be that it helped the Dobermans hear better or helped prevent ear infections. But today, most of the Doberman ears are cut in America already before even receiving the dog because most owners, they want to achieve that certain look, that intimidating look. Um, or sometimes they are required to have their ears cut to be in certain shows. So now it's more of an American standard for Dobermans. Me personally, I feel bad for Ziva just having to go through this whole process with getting stitches, having to take her stitches out, cropping up her ears, and it's uncomfortable. But I have to say, I really do love the look that it gives her. So I'm excited for when this process is going to be over so she can wear her ears out and look even more intimidating. So this process is really long, like I said in the beginning. So I had to speed things up and cut out a lot of parts. But basically, I'm just continuing to take my time and take off the tape as slowly and efficiently as I can. And... I like always, Ziva is doing such a great job. I finally got all of the tape off. Yay, mom. And I just give Ziva some love and praise, let her know she did a great job. And I let her roam around for a little bit without her ears posted just so she can take a little break. The first time Ziva ever got her ears posted was by the breeder. So he showed me everything on what to do. He demonstrated on her perfectly. And I was really nervous to try to mimic what he did the next time without him there because I didn't think I was going to do it well. But here I am just cleaning out her ears with some alcohol and a paper towel. And there's some red spots, so I just make sure to clean out those spots really good, clean inside her ears really good. And here I am cutting the piping that I measured on her ears that I'm going to be using for the posting. And I'm going to just explain what I'm doing if the video is not very clear. So I'm taking the tape. I split the tape in half, so I'm not using the whole um, width of the tape. And I'm wrapping it around the piping. And I'm going all the way to the bottom, from top to bottom. And it doesn't have to be perfectly... Um, all wrapped around the piping it's okay if pieces are showing because once you get to the bottom you're going to flip the tape around so now the sticky part is on the outside and you're going to wrap it all the way around the piping so you go back around the piping with the sticky part on the outside so that it will stick to your dog's ear when you put it inside of the ear and you want to try to make the tape as smooth as possible so that it's not uncomfortable in your dog's ear 
and so that they don't try to, you know, take it out or keep messing with it due to it being uncomfortable. So I got one posting down for one ear and next I'm going to work on the other posting for the other ear before I put anything on her just so she's not playing with it it's not uncomfortable and I can just do everything at one time. This time around Ziva was giving me more of a hard time she wanted to play so as you can see I'm continuously having to push her away or hold her down and get her to stop. And also, I'm fast forwarding this process just because it is a really long process and it will make this video much, much longer. So now that I have the postings ready, I am placing them deep down into her ear and I'm also pulling her ear upwards to make sure that the ear is straight. Also, you can probably tell that this is definitely a two-person job. Someone should be holding my dog still as I'm trying to post their ears. It would make this process a lot smoother and a lot easier for me. But thankfully, Ziva's being pretty still, so I'm able to do it by myself for the most part. So now I'm just wrapping another piece of tape around her ear in the posting to keep the posting in place. And you want to wrap this piece of tape very loosely just so you're not cutting off the blood circulation in your dog's ear. So definitely do not make this tape tight. Just loosely wrap around the ear um, and try to, you don't have to necessarily cover every single inch of the ear, but just try to cover a majority of the ear so that it stays in place with the posting. And now, as you can see, I'm squeezing the tape together so that it sticks to her ear. And this way, it's also not cutting off any blood circulation in her ear. Okay, now it's time to do the other ear. And I'm doing the exact same thing, making sure I'm pulling up her ear tight and pushing down the posting very deep into her ear, but not too deep to where it's going to hurt her. And I am wrapping the tape around and then squeezing it against her ear so that the tape stays put and also giving her a whole bunch of kisses because she's doing such a great job. Okay now this is the fun part not really this is maybe the hardest part if she doesn't keep her head still um, this is why this is such a two-person job <laughs> so what I'm doing is putting a piece of tape in the middle of her head um, between her two ears to bridge them together so that they stay straight, um, straight up rather than kind of drooping off to opposite sides. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure you're looking your dog face on so that you can see if the ears are even because you don't want one ear inward more than the other or outward more than the other. You want them to look pretty straight so that when you take it off, the ears will be sticking up straight for you. So after you have the bridge in place where it looks good, you are done posting your Doberman puppy's ears. It is a really long process and really uncomfortable for your dog. So make sure that when you're done, you just give your dog a lot of love and praise, whether that's treats or hugs and kisses, just to let them know how good of a job they did. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment them below and I will definitely answer them as best as I can. Other than that, have a good day. Thank you so much for watching and be good.